Hello lovely people and welcome. Thank you so much for visiting my channel today. Today I will be working on a project for one of Dina Tollefson's art challenges. I have done several of these challenges in the past and I always find them very interesting. She posts a prompt which generally involves something visual and a color. Um, so or an idea and a color. Um, this particular one doesn't have a color attached to it, so I decided to use many. Um, the prompt was favorite insect, and uh, I did a little bit of bopping around online looking for interesting and unusual insects, but I have to confess that images of insects have a tendency to creep me out. Um, I absolutely 100% value them since they have a very important role in the ecosystem and pollination and things of that sort. But once you have a creature with more than five limbs, I start to have problems with my skin starts to crawl when I look at them. So I decided to go back to a simple butterfly and not to do anything particularly realistic. So I uh, came up with a silhouette of a butterfly and uh, I did use some tracing paper once I had a silhouette on one side that I liked to make it symmetrical since uh, that's always been an issue for me. Making things symmetrical is very hard. So I sketched it in and then I decided to do this in inks because while this is in Inktober, October is Inktober, um, I have done Inktober successfully once and completed a picture a day for uh, 31 days. However, I found it very, very stressful. I work full time and have a long commute and I know I can do it now, so I don't need to, you know, I don't feel I need to absolutely do it. And it will stress me out too much, especially this year where there are already so many stresses. So I decided to go with a non-realistic image um, and just kind of fill it with things that were positive and happy and light and uh, just kind of put myself in a in a happy place for this one. It's a simple little drawing slash painting. It's done in inks. Uh, these are uh, water soluble inks and uh, I decided to go with a rainbow of color because rainbows are happy and positive and uh, some of my inks had dried out, but luckily I had uh, enough in the colors that I wanted that I was able to do this. And I worked wet into wet and just let the inks blend as they wanted to. I gave them a little help here and there, but uh, largely just let them do their thing uh, with a lot of water on the page. And then after that had dried, uh, I would decided to go in and do uh, designs on top of that. And again, because I've been heavily stressed lately and uh, I wanted to just fill this image with positive and happy things, uh, I decided to, in addition to just doing kind of um, stained glass looking uh, black designs over it, I decided to use hearts as the main focus of that. So this is a rainbow butterfly with hearts. So, you know, uh, not super deep, uh, but uh, it made me smile and I hope it makes you smile. So uh, let me know below what uh, you are doing these days, what small things uh, you find in the world around you that make you smile during uh, during all the stress that's going around in your lives. So I hope my uh, rainbow and hearts butterfly uh, makes, makes you smile too. So as always, uh, put comments down below. If you like this, please hit the 
thumbs up button, please subscribe to my channel, and also please do go check out Dina Tollefson's channel. I will attempt to leave a link in the description. Uh, she always makes a playlist of the art that has been done uh, in response to her challenges, so it's a lot of fun to go through that playlist and see what everybody has done. Um, again, fair warning, this is Favorite Insect, so uh, you're probably going to see a lot of interesting uh, and unusual insects, I hope. It'll be, it'll be interesting to see. Um, so please do go check her out and uh, see what people have done. Um, as always, please take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and be well. There will be a picture of the completed thing up close at the very end. One of the issues I had with this is I smudged the ink around a lot. So at the very end of the painting, I, I did go in with acrylic paint and just try to uh, cover up some of the smudges. So lesson learned, I should uh, try to remember when I'm doing something like this to put a piece of paper down wherever my hand is going to rest. Uh, but, you know, these are things we, we learn as we go along. Anyway, I hope everybody is happy and well. Take care of yourselves. Thank you.